Now turning to Tampa's mayoral race, where Jane Castor beat write-in candidate Belinda Noah. And ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell continues our team coverage with a look at the reactions to tonight's results. The unofficial results are in. Voters have decided to keep Mayor Jane Castor in for another term. We spoke to the mayor on what's ahead for her time in office. Hey, how are How's you? How's it going? Congratulations. With a new term ahead, Mayor Jane Castor said priorities are going to stay the same. We are going to look, continue to look at uh, transportation. That's an issue that we have to address immediately. Uh, we're addressing the housing crisis, our workforce development, with an overarching focus on sustainability and resiliency. Castor thinks transportation is the biggest challenge. Those solutions take the longest and they're usually the last to be put into place. And so we, although the offer transportation, uh, we don't have that anymore. We are going to move forward with transportation uh, with an overarching plan. I also asked how the mayor plans to work together with a potential city council shakeup. We've been able to accomplish a lot uh, with City Council, but I am just looking for those individuals that have the best interests of our city in mind and want to move this community forward. Castor said the work is far from over. As they move into the next four years, the mayor explained they must continue to build on their successes and confront new challenges. People have discovered that we live in paradise, so we have to ensure that we remain the friendliest, most wel welcoming and safest city in the nation and welcome those new businesses and those new residents in and show them that we've been able to live in, in paradise and welcome them to it as well. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.